Hi, I'm Coach Corey Wayne, and this is my video coaching newsletter. And the topic of today's newsletter is going to be success is the best revenge. Well, I've got a really good email success story. This particular guy, he and his wife worked at the same company. And his wife, I guess, was in a position of management. He was more low-level position. <clears throat> and they moved all the way across the country to for her for her job so they end up working at the same company and she starts sleeping with their boss and then eventually leaves him and so her and their mutual boss get together and basically run him out of the company to the point where he leaves home with one suitcase no access to his kids and was homeless for a few months and then his a friend of his turned him on to my work, and so fast forward two years later, he's completely remade his life. And I don't want to spoil the success, but and what actually happened, but it's a great story because the guy just, I mean, he literally leaves home. He's homeless. He's got one suitcase of possessions. He's got no access to his daughters. And his now-to-be ex-wife and his boss plot and scheme to run him out of the company so i mean they really did this guy dirty but success is the best revenge when you get screwed over like this whether you, you get cheated on your significant other leaves you you lose your company somebody screws you over in a business deal succeeding anyway is the best kind of revenge so i got a quote that i wrote and then we'll go through his email <clears throat> And so the quote says, success is the best kind of revenge to silence the haters and people who did you dirty. The world is full of vengeful, hateful, and unhappy people who are looking to project their self-hatred and self-loathing onto others so they can absolve themselves from the guilt of their own shortcomings, flaws, and personal responsibility. Your success or failure in life is determined by what you do or fail to do not by what your haters and doubters say you can't do. Succeed anyway. So let's go through his email. And so for all of you, all of those of you who are going through a difficult time and may feel hopeless right now, this is light at the end of the tunnel. This guy, it took about two years from him to get from his life blowing up to the point where he's sending me a success story. So it's going to take time to turn things around in your life. It's not going to happen overnight. Anybody tells you that it's going to happen overnight is full of crap. That's just reality. <clears throat> Success is long and coming. And revenge is a dish best served cold. He says, hi, Corey. Firstly, I want to say thank you. Your teachings have changed my life. I was married for 18 years with two children. My ex-wife and I moved to another state for work. We both worked in the same office. She was an executive and I was just working in a job I didn't like to support her career. He says, I know, beta, right? <laughs> yep. You were following her lead. She had become the man in the relationship. He says, a year after moving 2,000 kilometers across the country, I assume he's from Europe, I found out that she was sleeping with my boss, a married man himself. Without knowing your work, I adversely reacted when I found out. I came across your work through a friend going through a separation. Not only did my boss sleep with my ex-wife, they tried to terminate my employment through false accusations brought against me. Boy, that sounds like a lot of fun. Not only had I lost my marriage, I lost my home, all my possessions, access to my daughters, and my job. After 18 years, I left with one suitcase of clothes. I became homeless for months. Ouch. So it's like when you lose everything, I mean, he's back to square one. He's less than zero, if you, if you will. There was a movie in the 1980s with uh, Robert Downey Jr. that I really loved. It was called Less Than Zero. It was all people from my generation. It was just an interesting story about 
stuff that was going on in Hollywood with, with a bunch of rich kids and some of them went down some really dark dark paths but it was part of the the brat pack series of movies in the 80s those of you that are gen x like me will remember that so he says to cut a long story short i read and reread your book and viewed your videos obviously he's talking about three percent man probably mastering yourself as well you can read both for free at understandingrelationships.com you got no excuse Money's not an issue. All you need is a name and an email address, and you can be reading them instantly at understandingrelationships.com right now. The journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. He says, I am now living my purpose. In the last two years since separation, I have gone from a low-level job to being an assistant director, an executive earning a six-figure salary. And one of the biggest government agencies in my country. My ex-wife told me I would never get better than her. And if I'm being objective, she was an 8. Obviously on a scale of 1 to 10. So here's my comment on your wife. She belongs to the streets, bro. So he says, now I'm dating a 31-year-old and I am 43. So you replaced her with a hotter, younger version with a good attitude. So what's great is that you're, you're going into your, your peak earning years, your peak time where your sexual market value, if, if you will, is going to continually be increasing while your ex-wife is dropping because she's getting older and more than likely not taking care of herself because most people just, they treat their bodies like a garbage dump. They just don't exercise. They don't eat right. And it's sad, but that's unfortunately the way most people live. And obviously having a hotter, younger wife or a girlfriend, I should say, in this case. And on top of that, having a job that you're now in a management position doing what you want to be doing, and you're making six figures for it, that's pretty awesome. He says, it's been six months, but so far, so good. She's telling me that she never felt like this about anyone and that she isn't completely in love with me. She is my type, petite and blonde, with a banging body and amazing personality. Sweet. Oh, and my ex-wife is still dating my boss. I hear she is unhappy, but I pay no attention to her as I live a drama-free life. I love it, dude. That is awesome. Congratulations. So proud of you. It's like better always comes eventually. No matter how bad things are or how much things go sideways, if you put your head down... And you grind away, you apply what's in mastering yourself, you apply what's in 3% man, eventually with enough time, you'll be able to remake your life. I wrote about in mastering yourself a the last time that I saw my old business partner, things were going really well for me and my business was taking off. I think it was like 2013, if I remember right. And I was doing well. And I was like, hey, I'll why don't I come over and I'll bring my camera and we'll shoot a video and I'll introduce you to my audience. Maybe you'll get some gigs out of it. Maybe you get some followers. He's like, that'd be great. So he, I went over, we hung out. We did, I think, like four songs, filmed them, uploaded the video. Everybody in my audience at the time really loved it. And then he shared it with some of his friends because he'd become, he'd had cancer that he had beaten at least at that time. And he got real involved in the church. And so he sent around and obviously we're dropping F-bombs like we always did. And some of his supposed friends got butthurt about the F-bombs and our language. And he's like, I thought you were going to edit that out of there. I was like, what are you talking about, dude? He's like, we always talk like this when we're together. We always have for almost 20 years that we've known each other. And then he tells me that I need to clean up my act and I shouldn't be saying such things on YouTube and... We should go into business together because we make a lot of money together. And so it's basically he wanted to come into my company and basically get half ownership. After I'd already solved all the hard problems and figured everything out, now he wanted to stand at the finish line and come in and be 
an equal partner in my business. And on top of that, he was going to tell me what I could and couldn't say on my YouTube channel, and my videos, in my business, and what I could write and talk about. And obviously, if you read Mastering Yourself, you know how what my response to him was, which I won't go into extensive detail. But I just basically told him thanks, but no thanks. And in 20, December 2018, he ended up passing away. And one of the things that somebody that was still close to him at the time said that he was recognizing on his, his deathbed was, you got to finish. And all the stuff that he wanted to do with his music, he never did. And he died with his music still in him. And most people will never know who he is, will never know the gift of how good his music, at least I thought it was, and the people listened to it thought it was good. He didn't finish. And I'm still here. I'm still working on making my life better. And he's not here anymore. And that's that's what happens in life. You've got to keep keeping on when people try to sandbag your success and destroy your dreams. Or in his case, he liked to keep everybody under his thumb. And I was like, that was one of the reasons why I stopped being in business with him in the real estate market because I just got tired of it. And here he wanted to come back in after all these years and start ordering me around and telling me what to do. And I was like, that shit just ain't gonna fly with me. So obviously, so the guy that wrote the email, congratulations, dude, that is really awesome. And the fact that you stuck with it, you didn't let that beat you down. In other words, that wasn't the, the defeat wasn't the final word. Just like my old business partner, I mean, he was pretty nasty to me and I was pretty nasty to him. And I was like, I'm not going to let this guy try to make me feel bad about being who I am. I was like, the first time in my life, no business partners. I have total freedom to be who I was. And I was really happy. And he wanted to rain in my parade. He wanted to piss in my Wheaties, so to speak. And I said, thanks, but no thanks. And I never saw him again. And he since passed away. And... I'm still living a great life. Got no complaints. So if you'd like to get my help personally, maybe you got a personal or professional challenge that you're going through, maybe some dark times, and you could use some help, go to understandingrelationships.com, click the products tab at the top of your screen, and book a coaching session with yours truly. And remember, never let defeat have the last word. (laughs) 